Hiram, Utah is home to 8,000 plus residents and growing. With all of the growth from new commerce in the area, the water reclamation facility there is growing too. I'm Kevin Maughan. I'm with the Hiram Wastewater Treatment Facility. Um, I've been doing this now for 25 years. Um, I started with an oxidation ditch and in 2004 we built a membrane plant. Uh, the population is right around 8,000 people and the growth is right around, I think we're at about three and a half, four percent and we have some major um, subdivision tracks that have come in and are looking to increase our need for more capacity. My name is Chris Crockett. I work at the Hiram City Wastewater Treatment Plant. I've been here for about five years and I'm an operator. Some of the issues we were having was uh, the streams were old and they were getting broke. They were too hard to replace the, the, the chain screens inside and it was just letting too many solids through. Um, because we are retrofitting an existing facility, we were trying to find something that would fit in the channels that we already have rather than having to build a new building, just trying to kind of keep some of the cost, construction costs down and just retrofit with what we've got and which ultimately protects the cost of the membranes. Checking the specs and, and all of that and um, the Aussie Cup kind of came to the forefront of things and that's why we're looking at them right now. The Hiram Water Reclamation Facility would have to retrofit their headworks portion to protect the downstream MBR processes from damage. The Ovivo Aussie Cup was chosen for its ease of installation and its effective screening. We've had the Aussie Cup screens for a couple of weeks now and some of the benefits we see is we're getting more screenings out. We used to go about a week between dumping our screenings bin and now it's every two days. I like the design of it. It's more simplistic. It's, in my point of view, we're going to be able to do maintenance on it a little better if we get a hole in it. It's easier to remove the screen to replace it instead of having to take the whole entire screen apart and try and replace it that way. Well, we're hoping that we don't get the, the floaties in it and that way it's not going to get into the the cassettes that we have into the plates and rip the membranes so we won't have as many leakers on our membranes that we've been having. Uh, I thought it was great. Contact your local Ovivo representative today.